We begin with the latest on the coronavirus pandemic. Beginning today, a big change in the race to vaccinate Florida. Patients who have a medical condition and are looking to get vaccinated will have to bring a filled out form before they get their shot. Since Governor Ron DeSantis signed an executive order allowing people with pre-existing conditions to get in line, there have been a lot of questions about how they prove their illness. CBS 4's Bo Beth Yates joins us live from the mass vaccination site in Northwest Miami-Dade to explain. Bo Beth. A lot of questions indeed, but less than just five minutes ago, they opened up the gates to this mass vaccination site and a line of cars already getting ready about an hour early before the first vaccine will be administered. But as you mentioned, starting today, those who want a shot at this location will have to have a doctor's note. It was a busy day at the new FEMA funded state run vaccination site. Didn't even notice when they did it because, you know, they, once I just looked back, I asked if she was still going. She's like, oh, no, I'm done. So they, they did a really good job. At 630 Thursday evening, the site administered close to 2,500 vaccines. They shut their gates minutes after Patricia Rowe made it in. Very, very happy being that um, I'm at a higher risk than most people. Roe is a cancer survivor and she says she's been anxious. So I have a, a letter from my doctor. I'm a, a cancer patient and all I had to do is show him my letter from my doctor, my oncologist. But the day also came with confusion, especially through the morning. Some people were turned away from getting their shots because they didn't have the right medical forms. Mike Jaquils with the Florida Division of Emergency Management announced starting today, people with medical conditions must have their Department of Health form filled out by their doctor. If you received your first vaccine and you're under 65 with that doctor's note, at another site, you're going to need to go to a FEMA supported site or a pharmacy to get your second vaccine. The location is a walk up site and you don't need an appointment, but it's only for those 65 and older firefighters or police and 50 and up. All teachers are also allowed or anyone 18 and older with an underlying health condition. 3,000 shots will be available daily at the MDC site. There are no vaccines left over. That's a common uh, you know, misconception. Uh, we have the allotment. There's a lot of behind the scenes logistics where we're moving vaccines from one site to another. So by midday, if one site appears to be underperforming, uh, we will take those vaccines and make sure that they're uh, deployed to another site. There are also two smaller FEMA funded clinics with about 500 shots each. This one in Sweetwater and another in Florida City. Same deal, no appointments needed. You can walk right up. Now this site again opens, officially opens up at 7, but as you can see, they're already letting cars into the gate. It runs from 7 to 7. Those who want to get a vaccine here do not need an appointment. It's just a walk up and it's free, but you will have to have that official doctor's note. Live in Miami, Bobeth Yates, CBS 4 News this morning.